Isn't it strange that you can show your computer an image and it classify exactly what that image is? Have you ever thought about how the computer is capable of doing this? Well I did every single day until I figured it out. Today I will visualize the process for you step by step. Let's have a look at the model we're going to visualize. This is a pre-trained model that has an accuracy of 95.4%. A quick note before we move on. This video is strictly a visualization. I will be making a separate video with everything explained in detail. Stay tuned for that one. Now, let's have a look at all the layers before we start. We'll input images from the MNIST dataset. This is a dataset consisting of handwritten digits from 0 to 9. After inputting the image, we will perform a convolution. We'll use two filters, or kernels as they're called, that have the dimensions 5 by 5 by 1. The activation function, denoted as A, is ReLU. Next, we'll perform max pooling, with a pool size of 2 by 2 and a stride of 2. This is our first layer. Then. We move on by performing our second convolution. This time, we'll use four filters that have the dimensions 3 by 3 by 2. The activation is sigmoid. We'll then perform max pooling exactly as earlier before we flatten the matrices out. This gives us a flattened layer with 100 nodes. Here is our second layer. Finally, we have a fully connected dense layer which outputs our predictions. Without wasting any more time, let's see the model in action. We start with the input layer, which is a 28 by 28 by one dimensional grayscale image. The image is fed into the first convolutional layer that consists of two five by five by one dimensional filters and two biases, one for each filter. We'll use a stride of one and an activation function called ReLU. We start with the first filter and map the activations onto activation 1 in the first layer. Then we do the exact same thing for the second filter and map the output onto activation 2 in the first layer and move on. As you can see, the first convolution outputs two different images or matrices. These are called channels. Next up is the max pooling. We'll use a pool size of 2x2 two two and a stride of 2. We run the pooling for each of the channels and output them respectively. The idea is that we want to extract only the most activated pixels from the first convolution and shrink the dimensions. As you can see, we have shrunk the dimensions from 24 by 24 by 2 into 12 by 12 by 2. Have a go and count the pixels if you'd like to. Next is the second convolutional layer. Here we'll use four filters with a stride of 1 and an activation function called sigmoid. As you probably noticed by now, these filters are stacked and if you separate them, you'll see that we actually have 8 filters. So what's going on? Well, there are four filters with the dimensions 3 by 3 by 2. Since we have two channels from the previous activations, we'll have two channels in each filter. In addition, we also have one bias for each filter. Running the convolution will return four outputs, one for each filter. As you can see, we kind of lose the idea of what the original image was. From this point on, it's hard to decode what is actually going on. But let's continue to the last max pooling. We'll do exactly as we did earlier. Since there are four channels, we'll output four channels. What we extract is the most activated pixel values from each channel. We'll then take these four matrices and flatten them out so that we separate each and every pixel. We went from four matrices that were 5 by 5 to one 
flat layer with 100 nodes. To make the visualization easier, we'll shrink the nodes so that we only see the first five and five last nodes. Finally, we have the output layer where we want to output one out of 10 different predictions. This is a fully connected dense layer. Running the activations from the 100 nodes, we see that the model predicts that the inputted number is seven. This is exactly what my brain told me as well. Crazy, isn't it? Stay tuned for the next video where I will show you all the steps in detail. I will take you through all the mathematics, every single layer, the convolutional layer, the pooling layer, the output layer. You might learn a thing or three.